Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. On this particular training, I'm gonna show you how to actually initiate or start a phone burner dial session from within your Salesforce environment. Out of the box, the system works from the leads or contacts object. So here I've got the leads object up. If I wanted to start a dial session from the leads object, I would need to load a view. Once I've got that lead list loaded, I would select the records that I want to call and I would click the begin phone burner session button. Same thing for the contacts object. I go to the object, load a view, select the records I wish to call. I can select all or I can cherry pick specific individual records. Once I've got the records selected that I want to call, I'm going to click the begin phone burner session button. That's gonna take those selected records and queue them up to be called through PhoneBurner. So here you can see I've got 29 records that have been selected to be called and PhoneBurner projects that that's gonna save me about 64 minutes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start my dial session. When I click to start my dial session, that's gonna pop up a new window. We call this the PhoneBurner dial session window. I'm gonna to need to enter my username and password and sign in. And that's my phone burner username and password. Once I've done that, the system is gonna go through a little bit of configuration, then I go ahead and continue. Now on this page, I get to configure the settings that I'm gonna use for this specific dial session. For example, if I wanna have a phone script up on the screen, I can choose one here. If I'm planning to drop pre-recorded voicemails, I need to choose which voicemail I wanna use during this specific dial session. The dialing set and live answer sets, those refer to those buttons that we customized earlier. So if you haven't watched the video on how to customize your buttons, you should go back and do that now. And then the caller ID. You can actually configure multiple caller IDs on your account, or you can take advantage of our local ID feature, which will dynamically change the caller ID as you go from one call to the next. And in this particular case, I've got call recording enabled, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave that set as well. Let's go ahead and continue. Now on the next screen, I need to connect my phone to the phone burner system. By default, most of you are just gonna use your phone to connect into phone burner. It's as simple as just making a phone call from your office phone, your cell phone, your home phone, whatever phone you normally use to make phone calls. You just take this number on the screen and you call it using that phone. Now, if you've upgraded to the professional account or the premium account, then you also will have the option to connect to the session using your headset and mic by just clicking a button. But I'm gonna go ahead and just dial in to connect. All right, so once I've made that call into the system, I'm now connected to phone burner and I'm ready to start dialing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the start dialing button. And that's gonna start calling through the list of records that I'd selected. So let's say I'm calling this number and it goes to voicemail. I just click the voicemail button as soon as I hear their voicemail greeting. Now in this particular case, the next phone number was not a working number, so the system is letting me decide what to do. I can either dial the next phone number or move on to the next contact. In this case, I'm gonna dial the next phone number. So now I'm calling Carol White on her mobile phone. If Carol answers the phone live, there's no pause, no delay, no awkward silence. I just start talking to her. However, at some point during that call, I wanna click the live answer button. And when I'm done talking, I end the call. Once I end the call, I can take as much time as I want or need to update the record. And what you'll notice here is the record details are the details pulled directly from Salesforce. So I've got the contact details here and I can actually edit those details live during the dial session. So let's say I talk to Carol and I find out that her job title has changed. So I can go ahead and edit this. I'm just gonna add the word new there to the end of it just because I don't wanna really change it. And then I can save it. Once I save it, that is actually saved directly in Salesforce. In fact, if I click on this edit in Salesforce link right here, that'll actually open up Carol's record in another browser tab where I can review her details. So if we go here, details, you can see that title has been updated. And one other thing I wanna point out while we're looking at the contact record is that every call we make while using phone burner is automatically logged as a closed activity on that record. So here you can see this call where I left the message, that was actually the, 
the first number that I called, right? If we go back to the dial session window, you can see that first number was the 817. I actually called that number and left a message. That activity has already been logged. Let me move this off the screen. That activity has already been logged back in Salesforce. And once again, referencing that training on the button settings, that's why the status of the disposition is so important. When you're customizing your dispositions or buttons in Foam Burner, what you use as the button status gets used as part of the subject line for that activity. So as you can see here, it's always going to be call with Foam Burner dash and then the status of that disposition. So let's bring the dial session window back over. Let's mark Carol as interested. And once I do that, I'm moving on to the next call, to the next contact. So now I'm calling Rachel. Let's say Rachel doesn't answer. It goes to voicemail. Not a problem. As soon as it goes to voicemail, I click that voicemail button. I don't have to listen to the entire greeting. I don't have to wait for the beep. And the system will let you know when you can click that button because it'll light up green. So I'll click that voicemail button and I'm off to the next call. And if you look here, the phone script, if you've selected a phone script, you'll be able to access that through this tab. So let's say Jeff Sample goes to voicemail, click on that. And you see how fast you can start working through your calls? You may have also noticed that up here at the top, we've sent two emails. If you've configured your dispositions to also send emails, then those emails are going to go out automatically without you having to think about it during the dial session. Very simple, very easy. And that's it. That's how easy it is for you to begin a dial session or start a new dial session from within Salesforce so that you can start powering through your calls at a rate of 60 to 80 dials an hour using Phone Burner. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, but don't forget to continue watching the other training videos so that you can maximize your results with Phone Burner in Salesforce. Bye for now and happy dialing.